What's up, everyone? Welcome back to JB Breaks Free. I hope you're having a great day, a blessed day, getting 1% better than yesterday. I'm trying to do the same. I just want to start off by saying, wishing Monday Mom a speedy recovery, and I'm hoping Jan's doing okay, because I know that she is great friends with Money Mom, and pretty much everyone is here because of those two, and I know the community is hurting right now, and just hoping for everyone to get back and better than ever and as, as hopefully as soon as possible. And my thoughts are with all you guys. Um, seems even silly to do a video today, but hopefully um, outside of that, it can help somebody somewhere, including myself. So hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, I got out there, I made 40 bucks with Instacart and DoorDash, a little bit slower than I would have liked, but better than sitting home, trying to side hustle a little bit, ship some records out. I want to talk today about anxiety, about awareness and denial, and about silence. And those are some topics that we've brought up this week, and it just got me thinking a little bit more about them in depth. Always trying to remind myself of Seneca's great quote, do not be unhappy before the crisis arrives. Don't let anxiety and worry get the best of you. Take a deep breath, stay in the moment, whatever your concerns are right now including my own, do not let them make you unhappy. Do not suffer before they come. And most of the time they're gonna be imagined and won't even happen. So remind yourself of that. Remind yourself to stay in the moment today. Stay in the minute, focus on your breath and do not suffer unneeded anxiety and worry. I got thinking a bit about denial and awareness and it stemmed from a Dave Ramsey review of chapter two that I did in his book and he was talking a bit about awareness and denial of your financial fitness and a little bit of your physical fitness also and don't wait to get the denial knocked out of you he said like okay things are okay things are okay um, I'm doing okay I'm average I'm not that bad and then boom something happens and you're like oh darn I'm, I was not as good as I should be and I, I got thinking of other places outside of finance that that could happen. And I thought about death, um, and that's a stoic thing, memento mori. Are we in denial that one day, you know, death is coming? And that's not to be morbid. That's to remind us to, to not be in denial of that, and that will help us appreciate um, our lives more and appreciate the moment more and how beautiful life is and to take advantage of the days more. And don't, don't be in denial that that won't come and then you'll be old and you'll have regrets about not living to the fullest. Um, the second thing, life is fragile also. Do not be in denial of that. You know, be safe out there. Um, you don't want the denial to get knocked out of you if you're doing unsafe things. Your health, um, okay, we're probably not as all as healthy as we should be. We could rationalize that and deny that until a health crisis arises and we wish that we were not in denial. We wish we were aware of our health problems earlier so that we could fix them. Health is wealth and without health, none of this stuff matters. Diet, you know, little by little, you know, you're going to get in shape tomorrow, get in shape Monday, get in shape before the spring, get in shape the first day of the month, get in shape this day and that. And little by little, it gets away from you until... You know, you're, you're out of shape. Don't let your, don't be in denial of your diet. Cigarettes. Um, I like the thing that it is, is a tipping point of here is the problem and, and it's just boiling up. All the cigs that you smoke, they're coming. And don't let to, don't wait till it gets too late um, until you start suffering a myriad of health problems from cigs. Be aware, be aware. Don't get the denial knocked out of you. Start now. Addictions, gambling, drinking, drugs, you know, it all starts with that fun first time and then things spiral and spiral out of control. Break free from your addictions. Break free from your denials of mortality and how fragile life is and health and diet addictions and also procrastination, which kind of ties in a little bit with mortality, but just to get stuff done. I wish there's plenty of things I wish I did earlier in my 20s. Um, and then you look up in your late 30s and you have debt and you didn't save as much as you would have liked to and you smoke too many cigs and you didn't eat great and 
you know, you, you didn't take care of your fragile body enough. And so don't be in denial of that. Start now. Now is the best time. Don't let perfect get in the way. There's never going to be the right time. The right time is right now. Um, no matter what, start now. And then I got thinking a little bit more about silence. I wanted to go a little bit more in depth on that. Um, Zeno, the Stoic philosopher, said, better to trip with the feet than with the tongue. And Epictetus, a great Stoic philosopher, talked about the dichotomy of control. Basically into two things. You can control what you can control and what you cannot control. And to only worry and focus on what you can control. And our speech is one of those things. And there is a stimulus between the, the there is a space between the stimulus and the response. And, and in between those things, that's what we can control and how we can control to that. So, you know, speech is going to be good. Don't say the wrong thing. Don't trip over your own words. Get yourself into hot water. Another stoic quote is forget the small talk, aim to be meaningful. I try to do that, try to limit the gossip, um, even like the Stoics talk about sports and gambling and and um, basically just saying what is necessary. And, and of course, we're not all just going to be, yes, no, yes, stay what's necessary, but try to limit that stuff down. Um, I love this quote, speak not of what you have done for others, but of the favors that they have done for you. Yes, you can help everybody else, but you don't need to go around saying it and blasting it and putting it on social media. Um, but you can say how great that you were helped. And, you know, whatever I might have done for anyone here, I know I was helped by um, the people who have backed this channel and from the comments and support that I've given. Or, you know, if I help someone out in my hometown, you know, that's not something that I need to go around broadcasting. But if I get helped out, definitely want to let that be known and let it be known how grateful that I am. And this is one I, I sometimes get at work, and I guess you can get it in the household too, but you don't have to turn this into something. It doesn't have to upset you. Um, it's nice that my wife and I hardly ever fight. Uh, we have had our little spats, you know, I guess, but it's been a long time, and I try to really focus on having a household that is not just constant, um, even bickering, let alone fighting. You know, we try to make every day the best day ever. You know, we all do our best. And then at work, you know, if, if I feel slighted, if my ego feels um, disturbed, or if I feel I'm getting hurt, you know, yelled at or talked to for reasons that I don't feel are completely necessary, I don't have to jump right back and reflexively respond. Um, I can just use silence to disarm the situation. Or if someone's arguing a point that I'm trying to make, I can use silence to disarm that also and just try to keep the peace, um, resort into myself for shelter and well-being and not say the wrong thing. So that's a little bit about anxiety. Again, more awareness and denial. Do not let the denial get knocked out of you. Start now. Break free and silence, use silence to your advantage. And that will be, um, you know, you won't have the slip of the tongue. You won't have unnecessary speech and you won't be boasting your own good deeds and you won't um, argue. So I hope those thoughts find you well today on your break free journey. I wish everybody the best and I really look forward to talking to you guys about more on the next video. Break free.